as we flip the script. Quarterfinal number two features a goofy foot Brazilian as well, Wiggly Dantes from Ubatuba, Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is like a surf city back there on his home turf. He puts on events for the local crowd and he's a hometown hero. Looking at 23, 22 on the clock in this second quarter final. Looking at the paddle in from the sky. Wiggly Dantes setting up his weapon. Nice, smooth, casual backside top turn now just fading. Beautiful lines and a big hack right off the lip. What a tempo from Dantes and he'll slip off on the next section. He had such a beautiful flowing rhythm for that first jam, but he's down. That leaves it wide open for world number one, Matty Wilkinson. Wilco carves, hugs that pocket. Now big wind up, top turn for Wilco, complete. Now with more momentum, little carve down, now setting up this foamy inside track. Deep off the bottom and a big crack on the back end under the roof. Wilkinson lays low and he's already preparing for his ride out the back. And we'll go back to the last wave from Matt Wilkinson, Potts. Yeah, Matty Wilco, you know, just a smaller inside one. You know, you heard Strider talk about the fact that once that set goes through, it, it definitely cleans the lineup, smoothens that water, gets the, a nice clean face. And you see Matty Wilco there grabbing the rail just to make sure that he knew that was going to be a bumpy bottom turn. So just holding that rail and again reaching for it. Wilco, a little bit more energy, 5.33. Wiggly Dantes, a 4.17 for one turn, and this was the one turn. Nice, smooth right there, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Now he sees it starting to stand up, draws off the bottom and belts the, <laughs> just throwing so much spray. Kind of got a little bit too carried away there. We wish Toledo a speedy recovery to come back to form as we watch this one. The Jeep yellow jersey shining bright. Wilkinson, steady pace off the bottom. Quick wrap, touches that rail off the bottom again. Good timing off the lip, but he'll sink on the landing. So this one's staying wide open. A fall from Dantes on his start. Gets him a 4-1-7 for basically one move. Back in the day where, they, where at Australian titles, they wanted to run separate divisions for goofies and naturals. Wow. Literally. So it was kind of, there was this massive divide, but, you know, that obviously has, has melted and now it's, it's all in. I think that, you know, the, the difficult thing about today, and I, I, I heard Joey mention tempo and talking about the speed, you can see Wilco, I think the advantage for Wilco is out of the bottom. He's just got that incredibly, you know, strong wide stance, gets down low, grabs the rail and drives out of the bottom. Um, sometimes when you flick the board out of the top of the wave, you don't get as much board out of the top. Mm. And, and we see Wiggly in that first top turn, like you said, Potts, 417 for one turn. Yeah. But that turn was beautiful. And Wiggly's always got so much more board in front of him that you know more than Wilco has. I almost feel like Bells is an advantage on your backhand, and I'm I'm sort of at loss for answers. And perhaps in the in the you know the dominance of Mick Fanning, Kelly Slater. Here we go, boys. That's Wiggly right. up and riding. That's right, BL. Wiggly Dantes draws one off the top, looking for a 3.84 and the lead. There's that rhythm and exploding off the top with a beautiful snap. Nice and easy motion off the bottom. Big hack again on a chunky section from the Brazil and he'll step off with the lead with 15.45 still on the clock here. Wilco had the eight point total. All the fans down here supporting what we got going on in the water right now. Wilco trying to stack up some scores right now. Looking like a nice little turn on the face waiting for it. There we go, Wilco, nice snap up into the bowl right there that's what we want to see him waiting for it but that way of not really doing what he wanted last year he finished 18th in the world and that was his best year ever and now we're talking about his seventh start and something's seriously changed in his game plan this is matt backside wrap to start needs a 5.68 to get the lead to move on to the semifinals. still hoping this wave will hook him up little fade and Loses the rail for a moment. Now he'll stab it in the white water. Looking for something major. And it will eventually start to build up on the inside. Blows the tail out. Great timing for a solid finishing move. Now at 3.20 to go. Wilco hoping for a 5.68 to get a lead change. Next wave now setting up for Wiggly Dantes. Hard off the bottom. Little connection off the lip real quick. 
nice deep bottom turn, casual arc off the top. Total composure from Dantes. He'll just keep assing back and forth to create this little inside track. Little top turn arc from Dantes. Steps on the tail through the backwash. And now he's starting to eye the lip line. Solid backhand jam for Wiggly. Trying to find one more maneuver in a messy section. Jams it shut right onto the beach with 2.30 to go. Wow. Solid out here. As we see what Wilco did, Potts. Yeah, you know, just a big, bumpy, lumpy piece of water, huh? big piece of southern ocean as uh, Wilco, watch his turn here, where she drives into it, drives into it, there, get that board just does not want to hook in. And so the first part of this wave, really tricky. Now he connects with that white water up and over the top, waiting for it. I like the, the patience on this wave. He could see this inside coming. Now he connects with that last turn. There's that blow tail that we were looking for. Fins out of the back for Matty Wilco. He was looking for a 5.68 before that last exchange. Wiggly Dantes a little bit stronger on his opening turn right there, getting that board into the lip. Draws off the bottom, nice big swooping turn from Dantes. Scores coming through for Matty Wilco's wave with 50 seconds remaining. I think we might see a lead change. There it is, Joe. Wiggly Dantes is going to need a score of a 4.33 on this exchange. Both guys have just been dropped off back out into the lineup, getting a 4.33 on that wave. 35 seconds remaining. Looks like Matty Wilco is going to have one more roll of the dice. Here he goes. Wilkinson now up, which could be his final wave in this quarterfinal and maybe the event. He leans to perform. Backside snap to start. Last to Wiggly, a 5.17. So Wilco needs a 6.18 here. Jams it off the lip. A solid section for the world number one. Create some space now with that little top turn. Hard off the bottom, big section. Wilco air drops and stomps it. There's his finish right at the horn. Under pressure to perform to make a way into the semifinal. Did Wilco do enough to turn the heat pots? 6.18, couple of clean turns. Let's have a look. The judges want to see it again. So Matty Wilco, perfect timing as far as getting back out into the lineup. First turn, nice and clean. Now he starts to pump down the line. He needs to connect right here, which he does. That's probably one of his better turns with a little free fall drop, so critical surfing. Makes it around the white water. Another nice smooth turn right there. Now he needs to finish strong. And does he? Yes, he does. Didn't quite connect like he would have, but I tell you what, it is going to be judged against this one. This was the 6.83 from Wiggly's wave number three. Big snap right there as he comes off the bottom. What's he got for us? Big boost again. So a couple of sort of major turns for uh, Wiggly and then finishes. So kind of looking in that ballpark, 6.83, 6.18. Is it going to be enough for the yellow jersey? Scores slowly coming through. Joe. Under pressure to perform, Matt Wilkinson on his final wave does it again a 7.43 and Wilco takes the big win off of Wiggly Dantes under pressure to perform to move on to a huge semi-final clash against Italo Ferreira today on finals day we can see that Jeep yellow jersey is doing a lot for the confidence of Matt Wilkinson <laughs> how many times can he come from behind on his last wave to take the big win as many as he wants Joe yeah, Alex. Rosie, go ahead and take it away right alongside Maddie Wilkinson. That's right. Well, Maddie Wilkinson, another buzzer beater heat there for you. Obviously, that one with Julian, a lot of energy expanded. Just tell me about those moments, the high pressure situation, the crowd going nuts. I mean, it must feel pretty good. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a tricky one. I didn't actually know the my score or Wiggly's score on the wave before, but he had a higher first score, so I was assuming I needed something. And um, I don't know, Mick and that were out there, and Mick's like, Go Willie on the first one and then didn't really stand up. The next one he's like, paddle, paddle. And I was like looking back and I could see it standing up. I was like, he's got a break on my head and then it ended up just standing up really nice and I got three three kind of nice turns and a big kind of finish in that last section so hard to hit. There's water and bumps and everything going everywhere. So stoked I rode out of that one.
And what does that do for your confidence? Every time that you've needed a score, every time you've, the pressure's been on you, you've been able to kind of get that and clinch it. That must feel pretty good to keep advancing in that fashion. Um, yeah, definitely. I had a few heats on the Gold Coast where I got it in the last kind of minute, and that had been what was happening to me the rest of the rest of my career. So um, yeah, it feels great to to be on the right side of getting scores at the end of heats. And um, yeah, it's definitely scary taking off. You're, all shaky, but I don't know. I seem to seem to have done it a few times lately, so hopefully I can keep it going. Well, Wilfred advances into the semi-finals. Don't.